a real treat. See how it is, Dan. <laughs> and you know, this couldn't have been possible without the man behind it all. My daddy, your host, Rick Reed. <laughs> Comedy club sure yeah. rules here, doesn't it? What a power pack, wonderful, wonderful crowd. Huh? Who says I don't guys know how to party? Yeah. Well, I'm telling you what, ladies and gentlemen, it's so cool. You, a lot of people have helped build this place. Very many. Give everybody, everybody a big hand for who helped us build this place. Great news, three comedians, four comedians are going to be here. But ladies and gentlemen, we have MTV Europe here in the club tonight. I guess we were good enough for MTV America. You know, they've been talking to me too, come from Europe. I would rather talk with them because we I've skipped some real stuff about what's really going on. And you know, first thing they said is, aren't you people here worried about the economy? And I said, we've never had an economy to worry about. <laughs> hey, you know what? We've been broke. Anybody that moves here for money is a fucking idiot, aren't they? <laughs> this is, I'll tell you what, it's what's really special. If this happened anywhere else, we'd have the police, the fire department, the ATF here. This is way cool. Give a big hand to MTV crew, and we're going to have some fun with them tonight. We took Dex and his partner, Fab. We took them shooting, horseback riding, and I taught them how to run a chainsaw and drop trees. <laughs> That's what we do here. They have already been. They've already been to New York. Miami, Seattle, of course, where they flew in, and Alaska. And then they had to come to Naples, Idaho. <laughs> That's what? No, they will not forget us. We are truly different, ain't we? We're very different. <laughs> How many people do you think get away with building a theater in their backyard, huh? It's too fun. Yes, we are rednecks in North Idaho. We get her done, don't we? Yeah. You know, and everywhere I go, too, they're really surprised to see a comedian from North Idaho. <laughs> yeah, because normally when you see us in North Idaho in bright lights, isn't it? This is the FBI coming out with your hands up. How many of you know how to run for president of the United States of America? Yeah! Since 1996, I've been running for president of the United States, and I am now, right now, throwing my hat into the 2012 ring once again. Well, you know what pisses me off is all this footage. This footage for my presidency is going to go to Europe where they can't freaking vote for me. <laughs> But I thought I'd put a little chill on Europe's back because if I become president, you know what we're going to put into law? That America's a failure after 620 years and we're all coming back to Europe. Yeah. Oh, he blew it. <laughs> it was a nice try. <laughs> You know, but about the 1970s and 80s, we started giving the Indians casinos, and now we lost the whole fucking country. <laughs> nickel by nickel, penny by penny, we lost the country back to the Indians. They want us out by July 4th, 2013, Europe. Here we come. <laughs> you know, they sent us over here to die, didn't they? But we didn't. We bred like rabbits, didn't we? There's 300 million of us are coming back. That's it. You know... Here are the guys who had such a great time with them when I took them out logging. I put them in t-shirts and they wanted to wear flannel. I said, no, even a logger isn't dumb enough to wear flannel on a hot day. <laughs> so I gave them two t-shirts. Two old 
ripped up blog and t-shirts of mine. Yeah. And I said, now, your first job, just like a real reality show thing, your first test is to go back and get dressed. <laughs> Here's some scissors and cut off the sleeves to the t-shirts. Don't ask why. And bring the sleeves back to me. Do not throw them away. Yeah, that's what it was for. When they asked, I said, I tucked them in their pocket, and I said, now you can shit in the woods twice. That's us up here. <laughs> Dex looked at me and says, why do you still have sleeves, Rick? I said, because I'm almost 60 and I don't shit anymore. <laughs> well, that's, that's it. You do that, you're doing good. You're healthy. Yeah. You're 60 in July? <laughs> I'm going to be 60 in July. How's that? Too. If I do become president, first thing I'm gonna do, next time JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs ask for money, I'm gonna tell them to go find a freaking mafia to borrow money from. Yeah! Right? Right? Did you see that? Don't tell me you spent my fucking money. You gambled my money away. Don't. What did I tell you when I left? Can't believe it. We don't need money up here. We got chickens and firewood, don't we? Yeah! That's right. Everybody's hoarding gold, hoarding gold. You cannot eat gold. I don't give a shit how good a teeth you got. You want a chicken? Give me your fucking gold. <laughs> well, as we've been bringing this place around, we've had, we've had our big hand for Russ and Russ. Russ. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Steve Burnham in the band here. I can't remember the name. I've been so tired. Oh. Yeah, it's been a week, man. One, one, one. No, you're only as old. No. <laughs> You don't forget stuff just because when I'm old. You know what, darling? How old are you? You know what you forgot? You forgot that I was raised in the 50s and the 60s and we could have sex whenever we wanted. It was great, wasn't it? We fucked like rabbits. It was great. Different partner every night. We didn't catch anything. Don't joke. We've been having a lot of fun here with the club, too. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to our daughter, back introducing to you to my daughter, who would open the, show, the whole show with a song. You ready for that? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our daughter, Kathy and Rick Reed's daughter, Miss Am Amber 